Aquarius, you are up for the August money, tarot, energy reading. Before I go any further, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. All right. The general reading for August is already up. The love reading for August is already up. And now we're doing your money reading for August. Also, the new moon in Leo reading for the collective is already up as well. Regardless of whatever reading you decide to listen to or watch, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person sitting here reading the energy and the tarot cards. You know your story better than I ever could. Now that I said all that, let's go ahead and get to the reading. May I have the energy for Aquarius for August? May I have the energy for Aquarius for August? May I have the energy for Aquarius for August? What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? May I have some cards, please? Thank you. May I have some more cards, please? Thank you. May I have some more cards, please? Whoa. How many cards is that? Is that three or two? That's two. Okay, I'll take them. All right. Wow. Now that's interesting. Okay, Aquarius. For the four cards, the first card that came out is book, book. It says paperwork, contracts, learning as you go, career, writing, taking a class, education, law. So some of you might be signing contracts in um, August. I don't know why I just heard lease. But um, yeah, for others of you, You may be taking a class, learning something, going back to school. With the writing the book as well. Some of you may be just looking to further your education in general. Like if if you have a bachelor's degree, you may want a master's degree. And if you have a master's degree, you may want a doctorate. That type of thing. But it's something involving information is what's going on here. Now, the other card that came out is Pendulum. Pendulum. And it says fluctuating income, indecision, new strategy, career, seasonal work, job change, making choices. So for some of you, you may be um, making a job change in the month of August. There could be seasonal work happening because we're getting closer to the holiday season with August. So probably towards the end of August. That may be going on as well. For some of you with the fluctuating income, I just heard that some of you are gig people like you do gigs and stuff. So you could I guess you could call it entrepreneurs in a way, but it's more like you do stuff on gigs. Like, um, let's say you go on a website and they're like, oh, we need this done. And then you do your you submit your bid for what you're willing to do the job for. And then if you're selected, obviously you do the job. Some of you might be in those type of um, jobs where you do gig stuff. And because of that, your income may fluctuate where you may book a lot of gigs um, one week. And then you may not book as many the next week. You know what I mean? 
So that could be going on. And then I just heard um, ghost writing for somebody. Someone may want you to ghost write a book for them. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, else. Third card that came out is gift. Gift. It says giving and receiving. Sudden windfall. Generosity. Career. Financial support. Work. Surprise. Vacation. So for some of you, you may be receiving a gift or you may be giving a gift. Is what you may be doing. But there is a gift. And I'm going back to the sudden windfall and generosity. This gives me six of pentacles energy. Is what this gives me. So there may be some type of shock. In regards to this. Where you don't see this coming. And then the. Final card that came out is anchor. It says. Money blocks. Being stuck financially sound. So this can be one or the other. So either you could be dealing with money blocks or you could be financially sound. This gives me four of Pentacles energy. Is what this gives me. It says career, water related, travel, stable for now. Is what this says. Stable for now. I feel with the fluctuating income, it may not be exactly what you want, but you are stable. Now, I feel this gift is going to make a difference in your life. It will make a difference in your life, whatever this gift is, this sudden windfall, this generosity. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Let me take a few tarot cards right quick. May I have the energy for Aquarius in regards to money for August. Energy for Aquarius in regards to money for August. Energy for Aquarius in regards to money for August. What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? May I have some cards, please? Okay, that really came out. And that's your energy, too. The full card came out. And this is my Monopoly deck. And it's saying go. And... You know, when this came out, I heard collect $200. Because that's on the Monopoly game. But that's something that just came to mind. So, that might be the gift you're receiving from somebody. It could be a, like a few hundred dollars. But that couple of hundred dollars will make a difference. Two. But you're starting something new. Is what you're doing. You're taking a chance on something. As well, and throwing caution to the wind. Some of you, your income might fluctuate because you're starting something new. The gift may be from someone or a group of people that see you're starting something new. And this is them coming in to support you, to be helpful, to be encouraging. May I have some more cards, please? Thank you. Yeah, three of swords came out. You're starting something new because you weren't happy with something before. This is air energy. So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You weren't happy with something before. Something didn't make you happy, which is why you're starting over again. For some of you, you might have had a dead-end job and that's why you're going back to school. Or you're just starting, you're going into that gig economy that I was talking about, doing gigs and stuff, and your income may fluctuate. But 
I really feel that there are going to be people around you in your circle that will rally to your rally to your cause, rally to support you and say, hey, we're we're on your side. We, we have your back. What's at the bottom of the deck? Yeah, the world. I didn't even something told me to look at the bottom of the deck, which is fixed energy, which you're a fixed sign, which is Aquarius, Leo, Taurus and Scorpio. Um, the world card, which is also about recognition, but also it's about completing a cycle. There's something that you're leaving behind. This three of swords energy, which is why you're completing a cycle and starting over again. You got the beginning of the tarot deck, which is the full card. And then you got the end of the tarot deck in the major arcana, which is the world card. So, yeah. You're starting... This new thing is going to be, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it may be a little bit rocky at first, but your support group, people around you have your back. And there may be some type of recognition. Also, both of these are travel cards. Some of you might be traveling somewhere. Your new job or whatever you're deciding to do when you're leaving something behind with this three of swords, it may require you to travel or you may re decide, OK, I, it's not working here. I want to relocate. And then you decide to move to another state, city, country, whatever, and, and do that. Regardless, I really feel like some people are going to rally to your side and help you. Because they see that you want to make a change and start over again. All right? So that is your message. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. Until next time, Aquarius, be blessed.